what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivy and today I'm going to be taking a online quiz to figure out what my bookish personality is. I've seen a couple of people do this type of video with like online quizzes and I thought it would be kind of fun. So let's do this thing. Are you a casual reader or a literary fanatic? Either way, we are glad you are here. Find out just how bookish you really are. All right, here we go. What is the one thing you can't leave the house without? Makeup? None of these. Give me my keys and wallet and that's it. Book or your cell phone because you have the Kindle app installed. I can leave the house without a book. Like, I don't need to always have it on me. I always have my cell phone but not because I have the Kindle app. We're gonna go with cell phone because it's the closest to the truth. Halloween has come and gone. What did you dress up as or wish you could have dressed up as? A character from a book? None of these. Dressing up isn't for me. A character from a popular TV show or a superhero. I did dress up, just not as any of these. I just have to say none of these. When you read a book, you get distracted easily. You don't remember when you last read a book can get so lost in the world you are reading about that you forget about the real world around you. You multitask with an audiobook. Um, get so lost in the world. I forget about the real world. <laughs> Happens way too many times. Where is your favorite reading place? Don't read often enough to know. Comfy chair, in bed, or the library slash bookstore. Honestly, in bed. It's not my favorite place to read, but it's where I do most of my reading because, like, I'm awful at actually doing it. When you buy socks, what style do you get? Okay. Hanes multi-pack, footies, what are footies? Book quotes or sensible and comfortable? I think Hanes multi-pack is the closest. I haven't bought socks in a while. What kind of books do you enjoy reading? Cookbooks? Do I have to pick just one category? Self-help or whatever my friends are reading. I don't have any friends who read. Actually, that's not true. I do have a few, but not enough. So we're gonna go with, do I have to pick just one category? How long does it take you to finish a book? Oh, years. Of <laughs> one year or longer. I mean, around a week. That's the closest we got. When was the last time you read a book? I don't think I read any today. So we're gonna say a couple days ago. How many bookshelves do you have? I have one or two. Which of these bookish quotes do you like the best? Okay. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you do what you know and you are the one who will decide where to go from Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. You can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me by C.S. Lewis. I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. Jane Austen from <coughs> Pride and Prejudice. When I have little money, I buy books. And if I have any left, I buy food and clothes. That is actually kind of tough. I think we're going to go with Dr. Seuss. My result. Book club loyal. You love books, and you have found a way to incorporate books into your crazy life. You know what you like, but aren't afraid of trying something new. But you still have a ways to go. Excuse me, I have a freaking booktube channel. That's it. Apparently, I'm like book club loyal. Don't know what that means. Um, I'm going to try to look for another quiz to take because this is kind of short. I was hoping it would be longer. Let's find another one, shall we? Okay, I found a cool one. Um, which adventure should you start a book club with? Question one. Which Question one, which origin movie was your favorite? Oh my god, okay. Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant-Man, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Black Panther, or Captain Marvel. Literally every single origin movie. What the frick? It's been so long since I watched Iron Man and Captain America. It's either Black Panther or Guardians of the Galaxy. As a whole, Black Panther was better, but Guardians of the Galaxy, I had more fun with, but I think we're gonna have to do Black Panther. Gosh. Which original Avenger would you sacrifice to save the world? Excuse me? So my choices are Steve Rogers, Tony Stark, Natasha Romanoff, why can't I think of his name? Bruce Banner, um, Thor, Clint Barton? I feel like I'm gonna have to sacrifice Bruce. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> How would you rate Endgame? Um, it's one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. What's your favorite literary genre? Fantasy, mystery, sci-fi, drama, romance, or horror? Fantasy, for sure. What type of characters are your favorite? The chosen one forced to step up and save the world. 
the love interest who proves themselves to be so much more, the morally ambiguous rival who reluctantly helps the heroes, or the villain who's unapologetic in their ambition. We're gonna have to go with the rival because the chosen one trope bugs me. How often would you want your book club to meet? If it's with a freaking Avenger Weekly, let's be real. Are you going to actually read the books? Duh. What dish will you serve at your first book club meeting? Sandwiches? Macarons? Chips or cookies? Chocolate chip cookies, for sure. <gasps> Calculating results, oh my god. <gasps> no way. You should start a book club with Shuri. Shuri is my favorite character. Shuri would be incredibly dedicated to your book club, sure, but you know her support wouldn't stop there. We wouldn't be surprised if your club turned into a major public public operation, recommending your fave books to thousands of others as you read amongst yourselves, too. And do I see adaptation productions in your future? Yes. Please. I can't believe that happened, and I am so happy right now. Shuri is my favorite person ever. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you next time with another video.